Hello and welcome, it is Connor here from Luxury Smart Homes and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom wake word for your local voice assistant. Now this isn't a local voice assistant guide so I'm not going to be showing you how to set that part up. This assumes that you already have a local voice assistant set up and working and we're just going to give it a custom wake word. So before we get started, you're going to want to think of a wake word, and this should be a short phrase that you don't use very often, so you don't accidentally trigger your voice assistant, and it should be about three to four syllables long. Now, in this instance, I'm going to be using Hey Luxia, okay? And once you've got your wake word thought of, you want to head over to the training environment, which I will leave a link to in the description below. And once you're here, you will see this. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna to come to the target word and we wanna put in our phrase. So mine is, hey, looks here. And then once we've done that, we're gonna hit the little play button here. And then down here, it will begin hey, to here. generate, oh, there we are, it will begin to generate your target word. And you can play that back. Hey, looks here. Okay, and if you want to, you can tweak this word. So we can remove say the e here and then we can run this again hey luxia there and now that is more how i would pronounce it hey luxia so for me that is better so i've had to tweak the word slightly this isn't actually how you spell luxia but it makes the voice assistant pronounce it better so it'll be able to pick it up better when i say it so you may need to tweak the word slightly tweak the spelling uh, in order to get the pronunciation right but once you're happy with it, you can now generate your wake word. So in order to generate our new wake word, we will come up to run time and then we will hit run all. And now this will begin hey, to here. generate our wake word. Now this process takes up to an hour. Okay, it's quite a long process, takes a while. So in the meantime, while this is happening, we're gonna go away and we're gonna set up what we need to within Home Assistant. Okay, so now we are back in Home Assistant and we're going to do everything that we need here while our little machine learning process is happening in the background. So start by going to your settings, to add-ons, and then to the add-on store. Now in here, under the official add-ons, you should see open wake word. So let's click on this and get that installed. So there we are, that is now installed. Uh, I'm just gonna enable Watchdog on that. Um, but we're gonna leave it at the moment and we're gonna come back into our add-on store. And if you haven't already, you're going to want to get the Samba Share add-on, which again is under the official add-ons. So let's click on this. As you can see, I already have it set up and running. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you install it, follow all of the setup needed for the documentation. Basically, you just wanna get a username and password set up in here. And then once you've got all of that set up, you can start the Samba Share add-on. Okay, so now that we've got the Samba Share add-on up and running, we are gonna jump over to the File Explorer. Now in File Explorer, you wanna go to this PC and then you wanna hit Map Network Drive up at the top. And now what we're going to type in is we're going to type in a backslash, backslash, and then we're going to do 192.168.1.2, which is my Home Assistant IP address. Um, you would obviously type in your own Home Assistant IP address here. And then we're gonna do backslash share, okay? So what this is doing is it is connecting to our Home Assistant instance and then it is going into the share folder. So if we now hit enter, you should be asked for a username and password. Now what you wanna do is you wanna type in the username and password that you just set up for the Samba Share add-on. Do not use your normal user login for Home Assistant. It needs to be the username and password that you've just set up for the Samba Share add-on. Okay, so once you have entered your username and password, you should be thrown into the share folder of your Home Assistant instance. And from here, we're going to right click, we're going to hit new folder, and wait for this to add a new folder in. And then we're gonna call this open with word, and then hit enter. So there we are. So we've now added a new folder in our shared area called Open Wake Word. Now, once the training model has finished, it will ask you to download a couple of files. So as soon as that's done, you wanna go ahead and download those files. As you can see, 
it has done everything it needs to do. Um, now I've just saved those files to my desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and now drop them into that open wake word folder that we made in the uh, shared section of our Home Assistant instance. Okay, so back in SambaShare where we were before, we're now going to go into the open wake word folder and we're going to drag one of our new generated files into this folder. Now the file that you're gonna to want to drag is the TF light file. Okay, so mine says hey luxia.tf light. That is what you want to drag into this open wake word folder. Uh, you will also get another um, file from that download, but we don't need that. We just need this TF light file. Okay, so once you've got that, drop it in here and then we can come out of Samba Share. Okay, so now that we have got everything set up and in place, we can come back into our settings, back to add-ons, uh, into the open wake word add-on, and now we can start this up. So we'll just give this a moment to start, make sure everything goes okay. Uh, you won't need to do anything under the configuration or anything like that, so that is all right. Um, so we'll just wait for this to start up. Okay, so our add-on is now up and running, open wake word, all good. The log is okay, everything's happy. So let's go to settings, devices, and it should have automatically discovered the open wake word integration, which is under the Wyoming protocol. So we're gonna hit configure and then hit submit, finish, and that's it. The open wake word is added in. So if we go under the Wyoming protocol service, you can see we now have the open wake word integration in there. So we're gonna go back to our settings now back to voice assistants, and then you're going to select your custom voice assistant. Now under here, you want to select the wake word engine to be open wake word, and then you want to select the wake word to be your custom wake word. Now mine is showing up here, so I'm gonna select it, hit update, and then there we have it. Our custom wake word is now up and running. Hey Luxia, turn yeah. off the office corner. Turned off the light. Hey Luxia, turn on the office corner. Turned on the light. So there we have it. That is how you can set up your own custom wake word for your local voice assistant. Now, if you'd like a full local voice assistant tutorial where we set everything up from the very beginning, then do let me know in the comments and we can make that. Um, but yeah, for now, enjoy your custom wake word on your voice assistant. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our latest content. And also don't forget to go and join our Discord if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Hey Luxia, turn off all the lights. Turns off all of the lights. Oh, doesn't have control over the studio ones. Ah, <sighs> well, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh, well.